Hey guys, Capsule here. Today we're going to be doing a video on my lizard. I'm pretty sure that we're going to start making this into a series, maybe weekly, you know, something like that. Um, we have had the lizard for a little more than a month. I got him for Christmas. You guys have probably heard about him before. And uh, today we're just going to be showing and feeding him. He mainly eats uh, crickets. He eats three times a day, in the mornings, a little bit after school, and during the evening when I feed all my other animals we got too. So. Uh, we're going to feed him real quick. He also eats a couple of vegetables about once a day. Uh, I usually give him those around uh, the last feeding, but uh, I might give him a couple to show you how he eats them, and uh, let's get to it. Okay, guys, so we've got some crickets here in this little bin. we got a little container over there. We just pick them out and put them in here. Uh, they do pretty well in here. They don't die very easily, but uh, it's a good food source for them. But if we don't have any, because sometimes Pet Smart will run out, so we can also feed them mealworms. But today we have some crickets, so we're going to use those. So also, another thing that's important for the beer dragon's diet is calcium. These crickets look a little white. That's because there's a little bit of calcium in there that I put on them. We did buy them some food that has calcium in it that uh, we hope that they'll eat so we don't have to put it on them. But they haven't been eaten on it yet, so we have to put some manually. So uh, let's see how this goes. So usually I just grab a cricket with my uh, tweezers. I usually just <laughs> let them eat them like that. I'll let him chase a couple of them, too, so he gets a little bit of exercise. Has a little bit more fun with it. He only likes the live ones, too, so if you ever get dead ones for him, he'll never eat them. There you go. Good job. We also give him water too. We get we uh, do little droplets on our finger, and he'll kind of lick them off our fingers. So after we feed him, we usually do that. So we'll show you guys that in a minute. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Well, I'm gonna cut off here real quick and get some more crickets, and we'll be right back. Okay guys, so we've got some more crickets here. We're gonna try to feed them a little bit more. Okay guys, so it's kind of odd how we feed them these vegetables. We don't just give them straight from the garden. We get these little kind of like freeze dried foods, or I mean vegetables, and uh, there's pea, squash, and alfalfa in it. And all you do is put in a little bit of water, so we just dump it in, or you know, dipped in his little water bowl, and then he'll eat it like that. It just helps them chew it up better, because it's kind of hard where they freeze dried it and stuff. So uh, it's kind of cool. He'll sometimes bite my fingers while I'm feeding it to him. So uh, it hurts just a little bit. It doesn't hurt very much, though. It's just like a little pinch. So uh, we'll see what he does. Okay guys, so we've got some alfalfa, we've wetted it, and I've got it on my finger, and let's see what if he'll eat it. Seems like he's not too hungry. I'll just hold it here for him so he can try if he wants to. Okay, I don't think he's hungry anymore. Um, maybe next time we do this video, probably next Monday or Tuesday, maybe we can get him to eat a little bit of alfalfa. Hopefully he won't bite my finger again. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I think I'm going to try to do one of these every week, kind of a progress thing. 
And uh, you should be seeing some stats in a second on how long he is, so uh, I hope you enjoy.